to Stand Up Nashville live at Zany. Yeah, we're having a good time. We're having a good time. I'm pumped to be here. I'm pumped to be here, pumped to be doing comedy. I used to work at the Western Sizzlin'. I don't know if you guys know what that is. It's like a, go it's like a golden corral without all the class. You know, like a, like a silver corral. <laughs> like, a, like a bronze corral. Like an okay corral. You know what I mean? Like, it's all right in there. Okay, all right, we're having a good time. I like to wave like this. I do this a lot. Uh, I like to wave like this at the end of a joke. Uh, just to let you know that joke's over. All right? <laughs> so we're having a good time. And uh, I am pumped to be here. I worked at a lot of restaurants. I used to work at a seafood restaurant in Charleston, South Carolina. A seafood, seafood restaurant called Hyman's, which is, uh, that's true. Yeah, located on the same block as a restaurant called Sticky Fingers. <laughs> you know what I mean? Okay, just telling you where it's at. It's owned by a family with the last name Hyman, and I was working in there one day, and this lady said to me, she goes, oh, are you one of the Hymans? I was like, yeah, because they named me Dusty Hyman. <laughs> okay. We're having a good time. I quit, those, I quit both of those jobs. I put in a two-week notice, not because I'm a good employee, but because that's my favorite two weeks of any job I've ever had, right? <laughs> it's worth it to get the job just to put the two-week notice in, right? That's where you start taking the power back. That's where I get to say my favorite phrase at work, which is, I don't care, I'm about to quit. <laughs> a lot of power in those words, you know? Your boss is like, hey, you know you were late today, right? I'm like, hey, you know I'm about to quit, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll be a little late. I'll probably be late tomorrow, too, if you just want to go ahead and mark me down. I'd like to know who invented the two-week notice. You know, was it the employee or the employer, right? Imagine being the first. You're like, hey, I'm about to quit. Your boss like, you gonna stick around for two weeks though, right? I'm like, well, you gonna pay me? And you know I'm quitting. Yeah, I'll stick around. Hell, I'll do a six-month notice if you want, huh? I thought you needed me to care about this job. You know what I mean? I like waiting tables, though. People do weird things in restaurants, you know? Like, people like to pair up wines with food, you know? And that's cool, but sometimes they do it in weird situations. Like, I had this guy go, what kind of wine do you recommend with the fried catfish? I'm like, I don't know, Budweiser? <laughs> you know? Or some people come in, they'll be in a real big hurry, but they have an attitude about it, right? They come in, they go, can we be in and out of here in 30 minutes? I'm like, hell, you can leave right now. <laughs> I mean, don't let me hold you up. Hell, I'm about to quit anyway. I mean, I'm three months into a six-month notice here. And my attitude is slipping. I mean, okay. I used to be a big drinker. Uh, I had to quit drinking because I used to black out all the time. And uh, nothing good ever happens when you black out, you know? No one's ever like, man, you blacked out last night, but I appreciate you helping with those taxes. I used to send a lot of drunk text. I was always ruining friendships, relationships, just trying to be funny. And I always wanted them to invent a cell phone breathalyzer, you know? That way when you're leaving that bar at 2 a.m., looking to text that ex-girlfriend you vowed to never text again, you just blow in there, you go. <laughs> goes, uh-uh. <laughs> Not tonight. You're way too drunk for that. You just get in your car and drive home. All right, we're having a good time. Because they say buzz driving is drunk driving, so if you're gonna do it, get drunk, you know what I mean? At least that way you can sleep when you get to jail. You only get two DUIs, don't waste one on a buzz. That's what I always say. Get a mugshot that counts, you know? If you're gonna be riding on a moped, have a story about it, you know? I used to drink and drive a lot. Um, I'm not bragging about it. I was pretty good at it, but I'm not bragging about it. <laughs> but back when I was drinking, there was no Uber, no Lyft. Cabs weren't reliable, so if you wanted to drink, you had to just drive, right? <laughs> like, sometimes we'd get a designated driver, but that didn't mean they weren't going to drink, right? That just meant you had someone that was willing to risk it. <laughs> that one friend with nothing to lose. 
He's like, hey, I don't even have a driver's license. I mean, we can't get pulled over anyway. All right, we're having a good time. We're having a good time, that's fine. Okay. All right. Thank you.